We see here the graphs from the previous lesson. The only thing I've changed is the numbering in the upper right hand graph. I changed that to 5 and I've drawn two graphs on the second row labeled one of them 4 and one of them 6. All the purpose of this video is is to sketch graphs 4 and 6. 4 is going to come from 3 6 is going to come from 5 4 is going to be the marginal and average of 3. 6 is going to be the marginal and average of 5. Let's think about units. In graph number 3, the vertical axis is variable cost. Variable cost is measured in dollars. The marginal and average for graph number 3 that I'm going to draw in graph number 4 is uh, it's going to be the slopes of tangent lines or the slopes of chords from the origin so it's going to be rise over run, the rise is dollars, the run is bushels and so the correct units are going to be dollars per bushel. Same is going to be true in graph 6. Graph 6 is going to come from slopes from graph 5. Slopes from graph 5 are going to be rise which is dollars because total cost is measured in dollars divided by run which is bushels because quantity is measured in bushels so rise over run, dollars per bushel. Let's do marginal first. Graph number three, marginal. So we draw some tangent lines. It's a pretty simple shape. Probably know how to do this by now. So there are some tangent lines. It's pretty easy to see that these tangent lines are getting steeper as you go from left to right. They're also positively sloped. And so the marginal is, the marginal starts out small and it gets bigger and bigger. We have no idea what shape graph four has, whether it's, whether it's um, you know, concave, convex, whatever. We don't know. It's the marginal variable cost. How about the average? So those are lines from the origin. It's a little hard to draw them. I don't think I'll, I'll try for the first point because it's just too difficult to draw. Second point. There it is for the third point. So these are positively sloped. The margin, the average is going to be positive. They're certainly rising as you go from left to right, and so average is going to be rising. So average is positively sloped and rising. Compared to the marginal, the orange lines are flatter. So, for example, at, at this point, the orange line is flatter than the blue line. The same is true here. Orange line is flatter than the corresponding blue line. And so, mar average is going to have to be below marginal. So, average variable cost. is going to be below marginal variable cost. How about graph number 5? I want to do average first for graph number 5. Every line is like this. Okay, so again I got three points. Let's get the pattern. It starts out at point number one, pretty high. Point number two, gone lower. Point number three, gotten really low. Point number four, 
number four it's gotten higher again it's uh, almost as high as point number two not quite so the average looks like that ATC average total cost How about the marginal? Well, we can draw tangent lines. Just sketch some. You can see that the pattern is they get steeper and steeper. Let's look at point number three. At point number three, the marginal is the same as the average because the slope of the blue line is the slope, same as the slope of the orange line. So point number three the marginals going to be the same as the average. Below, to the left of point number three, the marginal is less than it is at point number three. So the marginal is rising as it gets to three. And then it, as it gets beyond three, the marginal keeps on rising. And at point number four, see how in point number four the blue line is way steeper than the orange. At point number four, marginal is above, way above average. So at point number four, marginal is going to be way above average. But at points 1 and 2, marginal is going to be be way below average. So the path is going to be this. Marginal total cost. And now we've done shapes like this before. But those were just abstract mathematical shapes. Here we're doing it in, in an economic context, which is, of course, the reason why we're doing the abstract mathematical shapes in the first place. Uh, you can see in graph number s 5, if you compare the blue lines in points 1, 2, and 3 with this rising part of graph number 6, you can see that this is drawn correctly because the marginal has to be increasing. So that's the way to get these. The marginal and average ones uh, curves corresponding to the totals that we got in graph 3 and graph 5.